In this lesson, I'm going to discuss the absolute convergence for a series. Okay, so if a series, if an absolute series converges, then the corresponding series also con converges, meaning that you take away the absolute value of the nth, so take out the uh, absolute value for the nth term, then that series also converges. Okay, so I'm going to prove this result. Okay, and so this type of uh, this is an if-then uh, type of statement. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to assume that the series, the absolute series converges, okay? So assume that this series converges, okay? So then we're going to go through some logical steps and then show that the, uh, that the corresponding series also converges so we want to show eventually we want to, we want to get to this point okay so so we're going to start with inequality okay so it can be shown that zero is less than or equal to the nth term plus the absolute value of the nth term okay and this okay because we're assuming that the terms are all equal to zero or positive okay and this is going to be less than or equal to 2 times the absolute value of the nth term, okay? So that is, this is a common inequality used in uh, the study of series and sequences, okay? And this is true for all n, okay? All right. So from here, we're going to take the summation, okay? We're going to take the summation of both sides, okay? All right, so if we do that, okay? Since, um, so if we have the summation plus, so the nth term plus the absolute value of the nth term is less than or equal to the summation of two times the absolute value of the nth term, okay? And this is the same thing as two times the absolute two times the uh, summation of the absolute value of the nth term. Okay, so two is just a constant here. So what this shows us is that um, in our in the assumption, okay, right? In our assumption, we're assuming that the the absolute series converges. Okay. All right, so this is converging, okay, by our assumption. And if we multiply by two, it's still it's still going to converge. So the constant doesn't affect the convergence or divergence of a series, okay? So now, using the uh, using our direct comparison test, okay. Right, so so we can apply that here. So applying the direct com comparison test, we uh, the in this in our statement here, okay, right? We have a bound, okay. Since the the nth plus absolute value nth term is less than or equal to two times the nth term, that means we can use the corresponding series for the uh, for the for this for this part here, okay. So we're going to use that. That's our bound. Okay. So that means that the summation, the summation for this corresponding series, I'm sorry, this corresponding sequence term, okay, is going to converge. Okay. All right. So since Okay, so then we have that, and we, right, then we have, we know, and then we know this is converging. Okay, so, okay, so then therefore, so that means this is converging. 
Okay, converges. Okay, again, the reason is because because going back to the direct comparison test. So we have to look at the, the nth terms, what they're doing. So this nth term, right, this nth term is bigger than this nth term here. So therefore, the, so we're going to, so we're going to use this as a bound. Okay. And since this one is, this is, so this one is acting as a bound on here. So therefore, this must converge because this is converging. Okay. So now from here, okay, we can go ahead and um, we can use this idea to go ahead and prove the rest of the statement here. Okay, so we can rewrite the nth term as oops. so the nth term can be written as the nth term plus the absolute value of the nth term minus the absolute value of the nth term. Okay. So then taking the summation of both sides, okay. And we can do this using the properties of summation. Okay, it's just the distributor property. Okay. So we showed that right, we showed that this converges, okay, using the direct comparison test. Okay. And this converges by our assumption. Okay. Therefore, right, since this is converging, since this is converging and this is converging, therefore the so this series is converging. Okay. Okay, and that's what we want to show. Okay, so if the series, so if the absolute value of the series converges, then the, the corresponding series for that also converges. Okay, so this is a very nice theorem. Okay, and this is, you can use this as one of the uh, tests to determine whether a, uh, uh, whether the series, or test whether the, whether it converges or not. Okay, um, a note here, okay. The converse of this theorem is not true, okay? All right, so the converse is not true, meaning that if the series diverges, I'm sorry, if the series converges, then the absolute value of that series doesn't necessarily converge. Okay, so the converse is not true. Okay. Okay, the converse meaning, again, the converse is a series. Okay, if we have a series that converges, then it's not necessarily true that the, uh, the absolute value of that series converges. Okay, so we can't go in the opposite direction. Okay. So let me give an example of that where the opposite where the converse is not true. So here's an example. Okay. Let's say we had the series from one to infinity of minus one to the n plus one over n. Okay. So this is an alternating uh, series, right? You get for n equals one, you're going to get one, then for n equals two, you get minus one half, n equals three, you get one third, and so on. So it can be shown that uh, this series will actually converge using the alternating series test. Okay. And remember those two conditions, right? The first condition is that the nth term has to go to zero and the limit of the nth term 
right? The limit yeah has to go to zero, and the nth plus one term has to be less than or equal to the nth term. So um, I let you verify that, okay? But if so, if we take the absolute value of this, okay? Okay, so if we take the absolute value of this series. Okay, we get, oops, we end up getting the uh, harmonic series. Okay, because we take the absolute value, the minus one is turned into positive. All right, and this is, right, so this is a harmonic series, right, which diverges. Okay, so, okay, so that means what we, so, so we had a series that the original series converges because of, well, because it's a, and it's alternating series and we know it's converging, okay, but then when you take the absolute value of it, we get something that, that diverges, okay, so that just shows you that if you have a series uh, that's converging, then it's not necessary that the absolute value of that series converges. Okay. All right. So again, the converse, so the converse of this theorem is not true. It's not always true. Okay.